Greetings, my dear brethren. Today is the Independence Day of our beloved country, Namibia. At the onset, I extend to you all a happy Independence Day. The Gospel for today is reminding us to be extra vigilant. It is talking about the mission of Jesus Christ when he was proclaiming the good news as well as our mission. As followers of Christ, we are being reminded that our path or way of following him will not be easy as it will be full of rejections and persecutions in many times. Rejections and persecutions are not the end of the world, but instead we should follow Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is fulfilling what he has been told by his Father in the highest reign, which is heaven. Jesus himself was rejected many times on his mission, but he never waked or surrendered in, his, in fulfilling what he came for. Jesus was rejected even by his own people, but he continued to love them and stay with them. Truth is one of the main causes of rejections. As the Bible says in the Gospel according to St. John chapter 7, verse 7, The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify to it that its works are evil. These words of Jesus are very much clear and important. But at most times, we people on earth tend to deny the truth and light and opt to stay in darkness. In most cases, we get angry, forgetting that we are called to be children of light and not of darkness. Therefore, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let us remind ourselves that Christians without strong faith, we are dead. Let us stop rejecting what is due in the presence of God for us to be called children of God. In John chapter 1 verse 12, but to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Jesus Christ is the way, light, and the truth, no matter how hard the persecutions or rejections came his way. He does not count his rejections and persecutions from people, but instead he prays for people who reject and persecute him, that we must live in him and he will remain in us. Jesus loves us that he does not want us, his servants, to go astray, but to be with him at all times. When we fall under persecutions and rejections for the truth that we preach, we should remember what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Persecutions and rejections are part of our hardships on earth, and we the people on earth cannot live without hardships. Therefore, these challenges should teach us ways of holiness and perfection. Jesus was beaten and nailed on the cross for our sins. He did not lose hope in us. Let us remain strong and courageous. When we encounter various difficulties of rejection and persecution in our lives, let us imitate Christ who gives us perfect examples of how to respond to rejections and persecutions when we are facing them in our mission. Let us remain to be faithful followers of Jesus Christ Lastly, let me once again wish you all my fellow Namibians a happy Independence Day. May God bless our country and the whole world. Amen.